Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Lamar Jackson in terms of his production analytics. Uh, now, if you are new to the channel, or you're new to the different methods that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with high school production data, if you're not familiar with FBS stat data, and all those other sort of things, you can just check the description and all the information will be there. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to look at Lamar Jackson based on his production in high school, based on his production in college, to give us some idea of what his potential could be at the NFL level based on uh, all the quarterbacks over a very long uh, sample size. Um, so first off, uh, the, the first chart to kind of look at here is essentially the best single season score uh, at the high school level and the FBS level, uh, essentially. And again, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with high school production data or, or FBS stat score, you can just check the uh, terms and definitions and it will give you pretty much a synopsis of the methodology there. Uh, but when it comes to Lamar Jackson's data, he has one only one kind of real issue, and that is his high school production data. Uh, he had a 28.71 out of 100 which um, does not meet the minimum threshold for long-term starting quarterbacks since the 2007 NFL draft class, nor does it meet the Pro Bowl threshold of 84 or higher when it comes to uh, Pro Bowl quarterbacks. And Pro Bowl quarterbacks in that time span are guys like Matt Ryan, Cam Newton, Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, uh, Drew, Derek, Derek Carr, players like that. So when it comes to Lamar Jackson, uh, the big issue with him is just his uh, his his uh, high school production score. Keep in mind that the high school production score data only goes back to the 2007 NFL draft class, so it's not out of the realm of possibility that Lamar Jackson could be a outlier, if you will, uh, in terms of the data. But it does kind of speak to the fact that he's had issues in his career uh, in terms of just being great in terms of efficiency and great in terms of touch and interception ratio, completion percentage, those, those sort of areas. And his best single season score at the FBS level is 85.82 out of 100. However, his career FBS score, and the way the career FBS score is made, is you add up all of his seasons. Uh, so basically you take his freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year, add them together, and then divide by three, and that gives you a number. And essentially, when it comes to Lamar Jackson's career FBS score of 52.40 out of 100, he doesn't quite hit the all-pro career threshold or pro bowl career threshold uh, when it comes to his career FBS score, uh, which again, he had a very, very good junior year where he hit a pro bowl threshold um, again in his junior year. But this is a guy that over the course of his entire career in college wasn't really getting it done when it comes to all-pro potential and pro bowl potential when it comes to his overall data profile. And on top of that, when you look at the averages at the position, so this is the average career FBS score since 1958. Uh, Lamar Jackson doesn't really hit the average score for an all-pro player, pro bowl player, or starter, um, which does raise into question some of the concerns and some of the doubts when it comes to his overall profile. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that Lamar Jackson is a fascinating player to monitor and to be excited about because he does have a lot of things in common with a guy like Michael Vick. He's an incredible runner, produced very similar to Michael Vick coming out of Virginia Tech in, in terms of his final year of college. But he also shares many of the same Vic qualities in terms of inconsistent accuracy, maybe a little bit too much arm strength in terms of touch uh, on the ball, and is a guy that will probably end up being a, a very successful player, but may not reach consistency as a All-Pro or Pro Bowl player just because of the inconsistencies in terms of his passing game, which he's had since high school. So, again, the only real issue with Lamar Jackson based on data is that He's been an inconsistent passer throughout his entire career from high school to the FBS level. And even though he did have a very good junior season, you still call into question him as a passer at the NFL level because of all the sort of concerns in those other sort of areas uh, on film and, and other sort of areas as well. So that is kind of the bottom line when it comes to Lamar Jackson. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that he could definitely become an outlier. Uh, because if you just watch his film and you watch his other areas, he could definitely be a, a sort of, again, a Michael Vick-esque type player. But 
you do need to understand that Michael Vick was a guy who wasn't exactly amazing as a passer at the NFL level, at least until he got with Andy Reid. And even then, um, there are many ways where Michael Vick was a little overrated as a player um, just because of the simple fact that he didn't really win a ton of football games. Uh, and again, as a passer, he was very inconsistent throughout his entire career, except when he was with Andy Reid. Uh, but the bottom line is, with Lamar Jackson, I think you have a guy that could potentially be a long-term starter to a little bit better. If he does become a high-quality NFL quarterback, he will become an outlier. But that is something that remains to be seen. Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemmetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.